Hello, Kitty. In the last video, we talked about the learning curve I went through in using colored pencils to illustrate a big book comic book. I had over 100 pages to color, so that gave me plenty of opportunities to get to know the medium pretty well. It felt a little bit like an apprenticeship. I was learning on the job. It taught me how to color and render a number of things for the first time using colored pencils. Often, they were visual elements which I had experienced painting in some shape or form before. So it became an exercise in translating a technique I used on a wet medium into a dry one. For instance, painting trees versus drawing trees. Painting sky versus drawing sky. Painting water versus drawing water. Painting leaves versus drawing leaves. Painting mountains in the distance versus drawing them. This pushed me to think of ways to emulate an impressionistic or a suggestive style of drawing, especially when illustrating faraway objects or busy backgrounds. This made me appreciate a lot of wet media techniques that required more work when using pencils. Working with a wet medium feels like having a partner who is responsible for 30 to 40% of the output. Water-based paints often feel like they have their own decisions to make. I don't have full control on how an illustration will look after the paint has dried. A pencil is different. It feels more like a dependent child whom I am directly responsible for, for every stroke every happy accident. But I can also look at it this way. Colored pencils make me feel like I have all the time in the world to experiment and to play. Whereas with painting, I have to make quick decisions to fit the time it takes for the paint to dry. I like them both. Each one taught me how to use the other one in ways that wasn't so obvious to me before. Take the fine point of a pencil it makes it good for detailed drawings. This one is obvious. This is why when you search videos online on colored pencils, you will mostly see 99% search results showing artwork that look hyper-realistic or illustrations with meticulous color blending. They are making use of a pencil's obvious capability to draw in a precise way. What's not so obvious is to use colored pencils to draw like you're creating a painting. Making painting techniques cross over to pencils is quite fun and the output makes me stare in wonder at the art as I would a painting. Another thing about the precision of colored pencils is it gives you instant feedback when you attempt to blend colors. This one is not so obvious when using wet media because there, the color mixing depends on the ratio of the pigments and the amount of water you mix, and it is still subject to change after the paint has dried. It had always made me feel I was playing a guessing game. I follow a lot of expert painters online who've explained color mixing in exquisite ways, but I've always found it hard to make that bridge from theory to application. It's probably some kind of learning disability on my part, Kitty. Now, having done color blending with pencils for over a hundred pages, somehow that experience gave me a practical understanding of how color mixing works that I now feel a little more confident when color mixing in wet media. It's not much of a guessing game now, but a sport where I understand the rules. When you get your hands on my big book, Kitty, you'll see how my applied coloring techniques and experimentations evolve. I'd like to think it was improving towards the last page. Alright, that's all for now. I'll talk to you later.